Welcome back, First Hour Faithfuls, for yet another episode of The First Hour. This is the show where I, Colin Tanner from Video Games Are Dumb, and you, the legions of First Hour Faithfuls, take a look at the first hour of a recently released video game. So remember to like, subscribe, and bring the fire in the comments below for this episode, The Elder Scrolls Online, Tamriel Unlimited. Now, you might be saying, Elder Scrolls Online, didn't that come out last year? Well, you're right, it did. But at the time, it was a paid subscription. You would buy the game, you would pay a monthly subscription, and, you know, it was kind of like World of Warcraft in a way. They've decided to go free-to-play, sort of. You still have to spend the $59.99 on the PC, Xbox One, or this version, the PlayStation 4, and from there, you can just play the game. Although, I assume there will be some microtransactions, as that's kind of the norm. Uh, but let's get right into it. I was trying to do this video for a few hours now, and was unable to connect to a server. Finally, I actually switched over to the European server, and I was able to connect. So, let's hope this all goes through as easily as it can. We're going to go with... Hmm... We have all the different classes, much like we do in the, uh, in the Elder Scrolls. Uh, destructive spells. That sounds pretty cool. You know, I'm gonna have to go with the sorcerer. Destructive spells. Uh, that might not be um, the wisest idea uh, for a longer form of play. However, I'm just gonna be testing out, you know, the way this game works. Uh, so I'm not going to be probably using this character. I believe you're limited to four characters. Uh, for each copy of your game, uh, although I'm sure that they'll have some way uh, to let you uh, purchase more characters if you really want. Uh, let's finish that. All right. What's your name? Oh, poor. Just make up names. Make up names, and they sound like fantasy names. We're gonna have Orgor. And we are entering into the world of Elder Scrolls Online, starting off with the Wailing Prison. As is the tradition with the Elder Scrolls series, your protagonist will always start off in a prison. I'm sure you've probably noticed that if you've played any of the previous games. I guess the exception would be uh, Morrowind, but you're, you are a prisoner on a ship that's, you know, leaving to go somewhere new. Um, right away we are in first person mode, as you can see. The name's Lyris. The user interface is very similar to that of your standard uh, Bethesda game. You've got that overhead compass showing off the uh, where you're supposed to be heading next for your objective. Uh, sprinting with the clicking of the left analog stick, much like you saw in Skyrim. Uh, looting bodies. As always. Keep the weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. So you can play in third person third person or first person. That's really up to you. Here we go. Combat appears to be awfully similar to the previous games. Which have never really been their strong suit. Um but that's not really the point of an Elder Scrolls game. It is cool being powerful enough to kill something with a single attack. But for the most part, the series has been more about exploring and completing quests, which is rather conducive to the MMO structure. Uh, I did not play this game last year when it was released on PC, though I will say these graphics are awfully, uh, awfully good for an MMO. But we got a block here. And then charge our attack by holding R2, delivering a devastating heavy attack. Uh, looks like you can hold L2 for the block and then reflect using R2. Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold Come again? Hold. Come here. We need to talk. All right. The Prophet. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. 
Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. Uh, who is this Prophet? He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. The past, the future. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. What? I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of Oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. Alright, well, let's get right into it. So the uh, conversation trees are much like the other uh, Elder Scrolls games dating back from the original. We got a, got a jerk over here we got beat up. Oh, this guy's a little tougher. He's not going down in one hit. Oh god. There we go. Uh, so we got some new skill abilities. Where is that? Character skills. Skills. God of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry. Increase the magicka. I right, learned a new ability here. What do I have unlocked? Dark magic, storm calling. Uh, is there any way you can find out more detail about these? Oh, I can just click on it. Um, conjure dark crystals to bombard an enemy, dealing uh, damage to them, knocking them down for four seconds. Well, that's the only one available, so I guess I'll use that. Uh, the ability you have purchased has been added to the first slot of your ability bar. Press square to use this ability. How do I look at my ability bar? Hmm. That's not it. We'll figure that out later. Let's get right out here. And we'll see if we encounter some players. Uh, I did play a little bit of this to test out the video, make sure the audio was working, and I believe this is where the players uh, start to appear. We need to distract him. I'm going to assume that uh, Too Legal is probably uh, two about 24 Smurfs. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and assume that these are not the names of uh, Bethesda Intended. You Eat Booty. Okay. Very good. We have to go over here. I just used up all my stamina. But I have to be stealthy. So is this guy going to solve my problem? Are we all in separate instances right now? Looks like we're in separate instances because he's still. Quickly, nope. while he's blinded, we must get to the prophet's cell. All right. So following the icon, prophet cell is below. That's nice. Below. It actually says which direction you actually have to go on, which can be a major problem if you're only following a compass. I mean, uh, any sort of waypoint is... Oops, wait a minute. Okay, over here. Got it. Got it, got it. Fool! You will never escape my realm. Hermamora's wagging tongue. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. 
Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. Alright. Let's go meet Cadwell. This must be the right direction. All this stuff is very close to each other, which I doubt will continue as this MMO uh, carries on. Two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their bows, and stabbed themselves. Oh my god. There's this thing that's attacking me and I didn't see it. Oh my god. Can I search this? I cannot. Whoa! And there's the special ability we heard about earlier. Ooh, man, I'm leveling up like crazy. Uh, how do I put this away? Maybe I'll just go away on its own. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. You must be John Cleese. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. There like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him one. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Well, as much as I would love to hear more about Sir Cadwell, understanding that this is the first hour of an MMO means that I do have to, you know, continue along a bit. Uh, so this is obviously not the right area. We have to go down the river. Much like we saw. Some chests and doors are locked. If you have a lock pit in your inventory, press X to attempt to do that. The sooner you get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh, force lock is 100%. Well then, just force lock. I think that costs you a lock pick whenever you do the force lock. Much like it did in the, uh, in the main series. Can I loot you? Ew. Alright. Kill the centipede at the very least. What was your name again? Target practice? Hmm. Let's go under inventory, because I just got a new item. Your inventory houses and all equipment. Oh, good God. Stop. Stop. I don't appear to be able to search that. Um, like I said, though, I want to go into the inventory to see what kind of sword I just unlocked. Hmm. Well, uh, I gotta go with the two-handed sword, because that's been, uh, that's where I'm at right now. If I had a shield, maybe, I'd go for it. Oh god, you can get right past there. Chest is already empty. Spooky. Looks like some evil stuff's going on in here. Uh, there we go. Go under inventory. No, that's not what I wanted. There we are. That's much better. Oh. <laughs> for fishing bait. No longer need a Steam paid mod for that.
person's looking at a book. Interesting. So, just by holding down the options menu, you can uh, instantly try and add people. Whoops, I don't want to show off that person's PlayStation Network account too much. I'm surprised that works. Oh, I can actually search him now. And I can take this random skeleton's gold. What would a skeleton do with gold, honestly? Oh, I should have tried a melee attack. Or a uh, sneak attack. In fact, I think I'll do that next. Come get some more, you skeeving hookers. Skeeving hookers? Jesus. Inventory, go into hands. At level one, he seemed to do a lot more, obviously. I want to go with that. So uh, it sort of reminds me of almost like an amusement park, almost. You know, like uh, Disney World or something. There we go. Got the mint chai recipe. The prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. Alright. Good news is we made it here in one piece. Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. There's a trick to it. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart. Hmm. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. That sucks. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. Not sure why she's so interested or invested in saving me. Well, she said the whole prophet talking to me thing was a big deal. Wait, what if I stand in there too? Look, we're both standing in here. What? Oh. Oh, hi. Hi there. Whoa. <laughs> okay. This, this one looks serious. Getting the uh, enemies off their feet helps you out a ton. I'm able to use this spell pretty frequently as well, which is nice. It doesn't send the enemies back, which is actually very good. That way you can continue your attacks without uh, needing to readjust. Perhaps there will be more powerful destructive spells later on, but currently... Activate. Activate. Wait for the exchange. Freedom! I remember this feeling. It will be fitting, though, if Molog Val has his way. Thank the divines, you are safe. There is that, at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. I wish that were possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. Isn't that an MMO in general? The scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost, even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the Anchor. The Anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. 
Up All the right. stairs quickly. We must get to the anchor mooring. Uh, if anyone watching this has played the original incarnation of the Elder Scrolls Online, please let me know if this is pretty much the exact same thing that you experienced, or if this introduction is slightly different. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they changed up a few things for their, uh, the, you know, for becoming Tamriel Unlimited, or is. for the console release. Dark anchor mooring. Oh. The mortal thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chains. Um. Oh god. Come. I will protect you. Oh god. You said you're gonna protect me, right? Is that what you said? Don't really know how you're gonna protect me. Whatever. Oh, that didn't work at all. That's good. Yeah. I'm gonna take your your bones and gold. The dark anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon... Alright, well, let's just get right over to it. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly. Collect the Sky Shard. Uh, Sky Shards are scattered across land. Uh, Great Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Val be denied. Go now. Up, oh, up. Well. All right, we're going up the rip. Whoa. And it looks like we're going back to Tamriel, which is where this game is going to be taking place. Thus, the name Tamriel Unlimited. So much better than Tamriel Limited. You ever been to Tamriel? It's very boring. It's just like, oh, can I go over? No, you can't go over there. Very boring. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Whoa. The vestige awakens once again. Ah, you can cook food. I don't have any ingredients though for that, so. Okay. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. <laughs> I am in a city of industry where men speak of intrigues and plots beneath layers of innuendo and pleasantry. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Murlog Ball. I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Murlog Ball looms across all the world, and chaos spreads in its shadow. You must find your own path. Oh, okay, cool. Find your own path. Much like every other uh, Elder Scrolls game. Just get out there, do what you want to do, and maybe you'll find the main quest. But more often than not, you'll be doing a lot of side quests. Uh, three stamina. Oops, stamina. 
and uh, unstable familiar yes and that is now set to triangle it's already taken care of good Daggerfall. Oh, we're in Daggerfall. Okay. Is that the second game in the series? Hey, you're alive. This must be our savior. Up and about, are we? You're the one they pulled from the drink. Nope. Captain Colleen found you floating out in Iliac Bay. She said to send you round if you woke up with half a mind left. Though I won't stop you if you want to run off. <laughs> She's in Stros Mackay, adding to her crew. The ship's got enough sailors to keep her afloat, but that's about it. If you want to lend a hand, talk to our bosun, Gilzir. He's on deck. Hmm. Alright, well. So we have to talk to the boat swan. Well, boy, we're getting some lag now. Yeah, some pretty significant lag. Um... Here to be a lot of players, though, which is nice. I'm supposed to go talk to the boat swan. Yeah, these. Oops. All right. Frame rate gets a little chunky here. But definitely over here. This is an NPC here, Daggerfall Guard. Everyone else is. Really in the game. Well, I wanted to see what that guy was going to do, but the game hitched up. I mean, keep in mind, this just was released to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One today. Uh, as far as I know, you're only playing with, um, you know, other uh, PlayStation 4 owners on the PlayStation 4 version. I don't believe there's, uh, you know, one unified server. Which is unfortunate. But that's okay. We'll deal. There we go. Okay. How may I serve? It depends where you need to go. This is a working ship. We don't traverse all of Tamriel Seas. Hmm. From here we travel to Stros Mackay. A bit tricky, but we should be able to make it before the weather changes. Or you could head into the city. Perhaps stretch your legs a bit. Try the local brew. It's up to you. Eh, might as well just get right into it. Even if I'm skipping some side, squ uh, side quests, it's really important that we um, hurry along and actually check out everything we can in the first hour. Uh, which I think we're doing pretty good on time here. Alright, here we are. Let me make sure that everything is correct here. This is 28 minutes. Great. So we are still at plenty of time. We're halfway through right now. Doesn't look like anybody's too interested in me. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. Whoa, okay. That dude has a horse. I assume the numbers uh, that are before the names are to represent the level. So that's a level 1 chicken. This is a level 5 character over here. Level 2 character over here. And so forth and so forth. But we're looking I'm to talk to Captain Colleen. This is one of those things I have to say about MMOs. Um, and the best example I can give is when I played Final Fantasy uh, 14 uh, with the beta for the PlayStation 4. There was one mission where you had to go and find this old lady. And this old lady was very important. She had information that no one else could give, but the only problem was that no one was sure if she was alive or dead. No one had spoken to her in almost 20 years. And so I would go and visit this isolated old lady. And there were about 30 people waiting outside her door, just like you see here. People are just running up. 
They're getting the quest, and they are running away. Which is fine, I understand. It, it's the necessity of the game, but it does, for me, somewhat take you out of the narrative. Look at that, Lambor. Our half-drowned friend is up and about. We weren't sure you'd make it. Really, I just fished you out of the water. Master Kassan got you breathing again. The important thing is you're alive. But if you're feeling grateful, I could use some help. A job. Anyone who helps is going to get rich. Right now, I need a fresh face. Someone this island's butcher in charge, Hedman Bosek, doesn't know and won't stop. Basically, you recruit the folks I need, you get a cut of the take. Interested? The three folks I need are Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. Any or all of them would do. He's a thief, but he's the best there is. He'd be a big help in the heist I have planned. Problem is, he robbed Bosek. Nobody robs Bosek. He's been tossed into the grave under Bosek's palace. Oh, good. There's an entrance off the river under the palace. Watch out for traps and the other prisoners. They're all murderers down there. The worst scum on the island. That's the grave. You can leave anytime you want, if you can. All right. Deserted. Ruler of the Red Guard people. Now, bloody Bosek. Oh. Captain Halle, the screaming. Captain Halle, deserted. The... All right. The well, let's let's go over to enter the grave, which is over here. Getting a little bit of poppin, uh, as you just saw with this uh, this castle over here. Definitely some lag, but keep in mind I am using the European servers as the American servers are. They're not doing so hot right now. So. What is that? Oh wow, a sky shard. Excellent. Get a good look at the third-person perspective here. Seems to be fairly standard for the series. Not necessarily a perspective you'd want to use, uh, especially in, in, in combat, though. If you're going to be spending all that money on, on clothing and accessories and designing the way your character looks, certainly you'd want to at least see them. Below. So, did I climb up too high? No, I need to go back down. Leave so. There we are. It didn't look like it hurt me. That's good. See what I mean? It's it's kind of hard to feel like you're really uh, inspecting a grave or whatever when, you know, it's so easy to see everyone else just going through there. Alright, where do we go next? Oh my goodness. Looks like we're in a situation now where we are interacting with more players, or at least I could have killed that enemy just as easily as he could. It appears the timing is similar. Oh god, why? Below, okay. Need to keep going down. Wow, that guy looks awesome. Looks way cool. There we go. Hopefully I'm using my class somewhat correctly. I know I have a lot of magic power, but, uh, you know, so far, they only use this. Uh, next enemy, I'll try out that triangle attack, whatever that was. You and you're me. Steve Bloom. Or David Lucas. Steve Bloom's his real name, though. Well, that's perfect. Get me out of here and I'm at your service. 
You'll find me a man of many talents. If I found a handsome guy locked in a cell, I'd free him. Is that really important right now? Sure, I took that gem, but he took it from some poor merchant. Tossed him in here to die. Can't steal from a thief, can you? So oh, I've got to free him. Okay. I owe you for this. Thanks. Now, let's get out of here. All right. So is this the way to go? Nope. Was it gonna be above? Yeah, okay, so basically the exact same way we just came in. Oops. Well, for the most part, I've just been able to run and jump over everything, which is a good way to start off a, uh... Oh. We can't go that way. Arians out there. Oh, and guards. I saw many, many guards. Look, let's slip out a side exit. That way we can both keep our heads. I use the side exit. Above. We need to go up now. Assume that's over here. There we are. Well, that was easy. I thought we were actually going to like go through a whole different area of the uh, of the dungeon, but I really just had to press a button. All right, cool. Thanks for breaking me out back there. Listen, while you're in a heroic mood, want to help me get something I left with the goblins? I figure if you want something kept safe, give it to the goblins. They'll watch it for free. They're too stupid to trade it. And they'll kill anyone who tries to take it. I love Steve Bloom. Here's the thing. You went through a lot of trouble to free me, right? There's no way you'll let me get eaten by goblins. So you, my good friend, will follow me to their mine. Yeah? Alright, here we go. This way. Now, I've never really played many MMOs. I've seen how people get addicted to them, and even though I play pretty much every genre of video game, I always tended to avoid them. For me, it's more about the, you know, the I'm diversity that the is video games. Something a uh, single experience, you know, just can't replicate. But I also understand that that's how... Oh, is this the way I'm supposed to fight? Yeah, this is. I understand that other games can't replicate what an MMO does. I totally understand that. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's my familiar. Whoops. Forgot that I summoned him. This must be the mine right here. They store everything on the upper level. Skills, and I'll do the health. Eventually, one of them I'm gonna have pull in the lead. In the lead, storm calling sounds good.
Falling down lightning strike. Alright. Test that out. Before I go through my inventory. Well, those are better. Oh god. Yeah, they didn't really do a whole lot for that guy. Where am I going again? This way. Above. Uh, Alright, so I need to get to the second floor. Or whatever. Got it. Map is very handy. Search. Oh God. Damn, I went the wrong direction. I should have tried that stealth attack right there. Oh, I keep forgetting to do that. Mage's Fury rank to two. Cool. That was weird. Like it took a, another try to actually make it load. Alright. So. Hope you're not keeping score. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I was supposed to talk to you, but that's cool. You had to go and blow up in some smoke. Out of stamina. Almost out of health. Whip! This isn't gonna end well. Pretty much my only hope right now. Oh, I died. Okay. Revive here. Oh boy. Uh, you know, I just, uh, I don't know. I'm sure is Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, it's online and it feels like Elder Scrolls. Um, so it does feel to me personally just a bit stripped down, a little bit more obvious. Oh, thanks. Yeah, hey, I wasn't gonna do nothing. Item durability. I hate item durability in games. I really do. Just being honest here. I find them to be really obnoxious. This is the part where I trust. I'll kill the goblins in the scaffolding in the next room. You grab the gem. It's in a chest on the floor. There's a passage on the far side. Take that and meet me outside. If something goes wrong, regroup at the inn in town. Alright. I'm gonna assume we're gonna have to regroup in that inn. Well, it's a good thing Hansbo and Gorgon are here. That was easy. He's above. Yeah, he's in the scaffolding. All right. Uh, I wonder if I can do oh God jump in the water from here. Don't die. Over here. I have a question for you. Yeah, hi, what's up? What were you doing in the mine? 
And did you see a scummy Breton up there? Yakarn. He's a liar and a thief. He stole a gem from headman Bosek. Now, if the gem came back, Bosek might let him live. Can you help me or not? Mm. I knew you were a smart one. Smarter than Yakarn. You just saved his life. If you see him again, tell him to leave this island and never come back. Uh, Steve Bloom's gonna be so mad at me. Alright, let's go to the end. Apparently above me. I assume that you can uh, create stuff by using crawlers, so that'll probably come in handy later on. Um. There we go, there's the inn. Just gotta get all across the bridge. I wonder if I, uh, if the oh lag is as bad on the North American servers. Which, it's not horrible, it's not destructive. But, you know, it is a bit, uh, it does interrupt the flow. That's undeniable. What I do? If you're looking for that bastard Jakan, he's at the tavern with a red god girl. Uh oh. I overheard him telling a red god girl he'd whisk her off to Sentinel, that he was a ship captain. She swooned like a fool, like I did. I tell the headman where he's hiding if I didn't hate the headman more. I need off this island. Oh, I have to get her off the island now, or is she just gonna give up? No, I guess. Hey, that's your problem, lady. Great. There we are, Jakar. Well, that's a shame. Glad to see you made it out. Well, that's a shame. Still, getting Muglerkel off my trail is a good trade. She's relentless. I'll be honest, I'm just a little hurt. But since you saved my life, we'll call it even. Seeing as it's you asking, hey! if she's planning a job, I'm in. All I ask is a trip off this rock after it's over. You! Hey, you! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Who, me? <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever find you. You move around. I'm Nicolene. I work for Captain Colleen. She sent me to find you, see if you'd had any luck recruiting for our heist. Looks like you're already making new friends. Then listen, just so you know, we're set up in a hideout near the docks. Come find us when you finish recruiting. Look for Lambour outside the door. Mm. There's three folks Captain Colleen wants to help with her heist. Crafty Larissa, Jakarn, and Naramo. She told me about them. Who do you want to know about? She's in Sainsport. The Sea Drakes lured her ship onto the rocks. Those bastards really know how to ruin your day. It's south of Port Hundi. Look for the big lighthouse. He's a brilliant Dwemer sage. Not that he's Dwemer himself, but he studies them. He's out of Bith's Ark, digging in the ruins there. You guys noticing that other guy is interrupting? Like, there's actually someone talking in the game? Where is this guy? I can hear him actually experiencing that quest. Because his TV is so loud. Well, okay. Go out to the port and find the rest of these people. Well, I'm not done recruiting just yet. Go to the quest journal. I'm not done recruiting though. I don't I want to recruit more people. So what's going on? 
Enter the hideout after you finish recruiting. Alright, well. Guess I'm done recruiting. I want to keep this uh, moving along before we wrap up the uh, first hour. Personally, I'd like to get everybody involved, but, uh, you know. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but it's rather obscure. Um, it's a real shame. Good to see you back in one piece. Hey, the captain's looking for you. Thanks to your work, we can go ahead with the heist. We've even got a few extra sailors clamoring to join our crew. You should talk to the captain upstairs. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just have to use right on the D-pad to switch back and forth. I can also steal items. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get right into the inventory. There we go. Machete's way too powerful for me not to be using. Alright, learned how to make mint chai. Now, let's see what the crown store is all about. So you have to buy crowns. Let's get right into it. Yep, that's off of the PlayStation Store. So there you are. There's your uh, free-to-play stuff in there. Though I doubt it's like pay to win. Like, how can you win in a game like this? It's all about the exploration. Uh, level up. Gonna increase my magic, huh? Leave. That one is cleave. Swatting enemies in front of you with a mighty swing. Just cool by me. I gotta get out of, uh... This person is a icon over their head because they were using voice chat. Hockey Mom 360. Cool. <laughs> Suppose you can add any of these people if you like. Oh, it is in that building. My mistake. Okay. Thanks to you, we've actually got a chance to pull this off. After we hit Bosex Palace, we're done here. Are you sure you're ready to leave? If we're going to do it right, we'll need Jakarn, Naramo, and Crafty Larissa. She's an old friend, captain of the Maiden's Breath. You won't spot her. She stays well hidden. Your best bet is to look for her monkey, Howler. Bloody Bosa. All right. I'm staying here and waiting for a ship. Peace and love. Well, I'm not going to be able to find... Well, no, it says find Larissa. It says below. I guess I'll give it a try. That's weird. As soon as I stepped out, I think I totally forgot about finding Larissa. I guess we'll just have to start without her. I don't know what they mean. Thanks to you, we've actually got a chance to pull this after we hit. Time to fill you in on our plan. We're at His sailing logs are the key to our fortune, friend. 
They're the records of every ship that's docked here, every stolen cargo they've unloaded, and every illicit payment made to Bosek. Those records are worth a fortune to King Vaharajad. They're written proof that Bosek has violated the King's order to stop raiding Breton shipping. With those papers in hand, the King can threaten to destroy Bosek if he doesn't stop. Absolutely. His envoy is on the dock now, waiting. As soon as we turn over the sailing logs, he gives us a fortune in gold. The trick will be getting into Bosek's palace, stealing the logs, and getting out with them. That's your job. First, you need a servant's disguise to get into the palace. The papers are in a lockbox on the top floor. Bosek has the only key. Slip this powder into his drink, then grab the key. The lockbox is always guarded. The guard's not bright, but he'll raise the alarm if anyone tries to open the box. Deal with him quietly. No stabbing. Lambor and I will have the ship ready to sail when you return with the papers. Cool. Obtain the servant's disguise. You know, I gotta say, to start off a fantasy game uh, with a heist is actually pretty cool because, you know, personally, I'm not really big into fantasy, but who doesn't like, you know, heist movies? They're fun! Oh, he was in the room? Holy crap! How many times have I left this goddamn building just to realize it was right in the same room? I would, you know, personally, this little, um, the little, in, little upside down triangle. That's a cool way to find things. You know what would be better? Maybe I'm glow bright orange. I don't know. Make them really stand out. It's a wonderful day for a sailing trip, isn't it, friend? Especially if it gets me off this rock before Bosek chops off my head. Bosek keeps the key around his neck, cinched steel. I'll get the key off Bosek. Meet me out back. Get your disguise and meet me out back. Leave Bosek to me. All right. Hello. All right, cool. I want to be when the guards get you. Oh, this guy's attacking a guard. I can't imagine that's going well for him. Pickaxe here. I was gonna resurrect him. Huh. Hmm. Well, I suppose now is a good time to stop. Um. Hmm. All right. Should you play Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited? Uh, well, I always say it. If you like what you saw, go out and get yourself a copy. As for me, my impressions so far are mostly positive. Uh, so far, it delivers on the idea of having an online version of the Elder Scrolls series. Though, like I said earlier, it does feel a bit more focused. Um, having missions that are just thrown at you from the very get-go... Uh, I'm sure there are side quests, plenty of side quests, as what MMO doesn't have side quests. However, uh, compared to Skyrim or Fallout or whatever, they pretty much have a tighter leash if you should desire one. That's at least for this early going. Uh, what started off as sort of a generic apocalyptic looking fantasy game has now led me down to, uh, you know, a swashbuckling heist. About to take off with this this weird thief and uh, this other person. It's pretty cool. And I'm gonna go get an outfit, and, and then I'm gonna go back. It, it's neat. It's all neat. It had. I actually think it's it's pretty darn cool. Um, I would really be curious to see how similar this is to the original release of Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, the idea that you're um, going to be just playing with other PlayStation 4 owners does depress me a bit unless I'm mistaken about that but I don't think I am I think it is just other PlayStation 4 owners especially when you consider that uh, I don't even believe there's any sort of well I, I assume that there might be some sort of player migration uh, migration uh, enabled um, if you own another copy of the game just because you do have to sign up for an external account uh, through email services and blah 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 and then you can play online uh, I'll be interested to see how it looks when the North American servers 
chill out for a bit. But considering I'm playing European servers, I think it's 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 quite good. And I think fans of the series will enjoy it quite a bit. Perhaps not as much as the uh, the standard series like Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind. Um, but I think it does faithfully recreate the feel of uh, a large explorable environment uh, with, uh, you know, the signature first person gameplay of the Elder Scrolls. So I like it. I'll check out more of it. That's going to do it for this episode, though. Uh, remember, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think if you're playing online. Um, and uh, I guess I'll have to see you guys for the next episode of the first hour. Thanks for watching.